Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. In today's video, we are looking at the 2020 NCA Level 1 Geometric Reason. Question 2 and Question 3 will be done in other videos, so make sure you watch both Question 1, Question 2 and Question 3 if you want to ace this external at the end of the year. Okay, let's go. So the question one, they have a triangle. So they say that angle PQS is 63. So that's 63. QS, the length QS is 16.4. That's QS. Angle RQS and angle QPS. So these two angles is 90 degrees. And the length of QR is 7.5 cm. Okay, they want you to calculate the length X or PQ. Okay, so now we have to look at this triangle, this is a right angle triangle, and we have to use trig ratios. So trig ratios is either sine theta equal to opposite of a hypotenuse, so cosine theta is adjacent of a hypotenuse, ka, and tangent theta is opposite of adjacent toa. So the first thing you do, you're going to label the graph. So the first thing you're going to label in this triangle, sorry, x, this angle here, so this must be adjacent. And 16.4 opposite 90 degree, this must be hypotenuse. So you look at A and H, you have to use the cosine formula. So cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. The next step, we are going to substitute the values. Instead of theta, the angle is 63 degrees. X is what we're going to find. A is what we're going to find. Okay, so we write as X. And the hypotenuse, H, is 16.4. Now, to solve for x, because you are interested in x, you multiply 16.4 on the left and you must multiply 16.4 on the right so that the 16.4 will cancel out. So the answer is going to be x equal to 16.4 multiplied by cosine 63. Put in your calculator and the answer is 7.445 and that will give you an achieve. Not too bad, right? Okay, we shall now look at question A. Part B, the same triangles, this time they want you to find angle Y, okay? So now we are looking at this right angle triangle. So now the length is 7.5, so you need to label them. So this is opposite, 7.5 is opposite, and 16.4 is your adjacent, okay? So now O and A, you look at the formula, you have to use the tangent formula. So tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. Next step, substitute in the value. Instead of theta, it's going to be y. Instead of opposite, it's going to be 7.5. Instead of adjacent, it's 16.4. To calculate the angle y, you just need to re inverse the tangent. So bring the tangent over to become y equal to tangent inverse of that number. Put in your calculator, it is 24.58. Again, this is an easy achieve. Not too bad, right? Okay, now, now we are going to do question 1B. This is slightly more difficult. So they say that uh, straight line A, B, C, E, C, G are parallel. So these two lines are parallel. Angle C, B, D, so that is 28. And angle B, D, F, so this whole angle here is 136. So step 1, we're going to draw another parallel line in between A, B, C and E, F, G. So we have x and y that is parallel to these two lines. Okay, so we draw an arrow there. Next, we need to split the 136 into x and y. We need to calculate x and y. x is found by doing the alternate angle. So x must be 28 degrees because alternate angles on parallel lines are equal. Once you know x, you can find y because this whole angle is 136. So 136 minus 28 will give you 108. So y is 108 degrees. To find your p, these two angles must add up to 180 because co-interior angles on parallel lines, they add up to 180. Okay, Co-interior angles, they are not equal, but they add up to 180. So if this is 108, p have to be 180 minus 108. The answer is 72, and that is a merit. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, now another merit question. 
So spiders use trees to support their web. So given this is 32 degrees, J angle JKM is 32, the length KJ is 12.5, JH is 21.2, NH is 9.4. You want to calculate W, the length W. To calculate W, you must take this length minus this length, you can get W. So to calculate JN, we have to use this right angle triangle. Okay, so we use Pythagoras because uh, you do not know this length, but you know these two other lengths. So A squared plus B squared equals to H squared. So A squared is your JN squared plus 9.4 squared equals to 21.2 squared. So D squared plus D squared equal to that squared. So far so good. Then to get your JN squared, you take this number minus 9.4 squared because you minus 9.4 squared on both sides. Okay, you minus 9.4 squared. This will cancel out. So you get 21.2 squared minus 9.4 squared. Put in your calculator is 361.08. To calculate your JN, you have to square root that number. Put in your calculator, square root. So JN is the square root of 361.08. Put in your calculator, you should get 19.002. So we have calculated that length JN is 19.002. So now we have to calculate JM. If we can calculate JM, if we minus them, we will get the length W. Okay, so JM, we have to use at this right angle triangle. So this is so Sokatoa again. So you need to label them. So we, this is opposite and that has to be the hypotenuse. Okay, this is opposite. JM is the opposite and 12.5 is the hypotenuse. So we have to look at the formula and we have to use the sine formula. So sine theta, is opposite over hypotenuse. Next step, substitute. Okay, so the angle is 32, so sine 32. JM is what we want to find, and the hypotenuse is 12.5. To get your JM, you multiply 12.5 on the right, you multiply 12.5 on the left, the 12.5 will cancel out, so JM is 12.5 times sine 32, and the answer is 6.624. So if you know your JN is 19.002 and your JN is 6.624 to calculate your W or MN you take this number minus that number and you get 12.378 and that will be another merit okay try again you're not sure do it again and you should be getting better in the second time around okay good the last question is the excellence question uh, involve a bit of algebra Okay, so these are two right angle triangles. So we shall look at that. So this angle is 90. Angle ZWY is 31. ZWY is 41. And you know that this is 36, this is F, and this is H. So we look at the smaller triangle, right angle triangle, and we try to form an equation. Okay, so first, you look at this right angle triangle and you want to find H. Okay, we want to, in terms of H, so... So we have to look, H is the opposite and F is the adjacent, okay? So what you do, you have to use tangent 41 equals to opposite over adjacent. So your opposite is your H and your adjacent is your F. So far so good. Now you multiply F on both sides. So the F will cancel out H equals to F tangent 41, okay? So this is because F tangent 41, put in your calculator, tangent 41 is 0 0.8693, so H equals to 0 0.8693 F. So far so good. Okay, now we look at the second triangle. Tangent 31 is again opposite over the adjacent. This time, your opposite is H still, your angle is 31, and your, your adjacent now is 36 plus F. So far, so good. Okay, now you're going to multiply F plus 36 on both sides. Multiply by F plus 36 on both sides. And you will cancel out the bottom part here. So F plus 36 tangent 31 equals to H. Expand it. So F tangent 31 plus 36 tangent 31 equals to H. You have found that your previous daily, your H was 0 0.8693. Substitute the H into that. Now we're going to solve algebraically, okay? So we have 
use your calculator so tangent 31 is 0 0.6009f 36 times 10 31 is 21.631 and this remains as 0 0.8693f so now the last step you're going to minus 0 0.6009f on both sides minus 0 0.6009f on both sides this will cancel out so you are left with this minus this will give you 0 0.2684f equals to that to get your f you divide both sides by 0 0.2684 and put in your calculator and you should get that answer have a go again and you should be able to ace this paper it's quite easy have a good day and see you soon this is an excellent. Cheers.